exciting world of Ryan's Hope. The glamour and excitement, the romance, the intrigue and danger. Ryan's Hope, we've got the world dreams are made of. Weekdays on ABC. It will continue in a moment. Tonight, busing tears apart a small town and two best friends in All God's Children. I'm Fred Griffith. I'm Jan Jones. I'm Joe Rose. No, I'm Ike Enoch Meredith Jr. No. On Tuesday's morning exchange, we'll meet the mother of Quince. And we'll look at uh, some great old films from Warner Brothers. All about forensic dentistry. And the city of Cleveland's Hispanic liaison will be here to take your phone call. And we'll once again prevail on our master chef here to cook up a batch of his fabled barbecue ribs. Yeah, but how long do you cook them? Until they're done. Oh. Ike Enoch Meredith on our Tuesday morning exchange, live 8 to 10. <laughs> A shaker attack on the Big Mac at 11. A and B enter into a valid contract. Oh, such a wonderful course. He's such a wonderful teacher. Bob Doherty, that's his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me after class that his wife passed away last year. And he wanted to make a new start, so that's why he moved here. He's only been here about a week. He's living in that little apartment over Dwyer's drugstore. He's Irish, you know. They have the most wonderful smiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not mad about the money, are you? Because once I get my real estate license, I'll sell something, and then we can put the money right back in the bank account. <laughs> she cracks me up. Every year she talks that Charlie Brown is the kick in the football, and every year she pulls it away. <laughs> well, I gotta go. I keep thinking about him alone in that little apartment. Someday, I, I'd like to show him around town. You, you know where the bank is and the laundromat and things like that. Oh, what do you think? Who's that? Bob Doherty. Doherty? My teacher. What would you think if I showed him around town one day? Sure. As long as I have to pick him up. Well, you don't. I'm sure he drives. Well, you know these old guys. He's not so old. He's probably not a day over 42. What are you doing, huh? Well, it's hard to tell. He's in such good shape. Goodbye. What are you doing, huh? Something the matter? Who is this guy? <laughs> I love it. I love it. A and you know the best part about it? Mike. I tell him every nuance. <laughs> I mean, every detail. You should have seen the expression on his face. I mean, you'd think he was the only guy that ever gone out with a girl. I'm telling you, Dave, she is pretty incredible. Yeah, I got that impression. You know, I'm thinking of getting her something. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know, like a symbol, you know? All these college girls were talking about getting pinned and stuff. Hey, hey wait a second. I mean, don't you think you're rushing things a little bit? I mean, you've only been out with her three times. Uh, I don't know, Dave. I, I want everybody to know that she's mine. Yours? What do you mean, yours? Oh, come on, Dave. You know what I mean. Besides, you're not a frat guy. You're a lowly cutter, remember? What are you going to pin her with? All right, so I don't exactly pin her. I'll, uh, I'll give her a piece of limestone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. gotta tell him. It's gonna kill him, you know. He's nuts about her. Hey, who knows? Maybe it was all innocent. I mean, it could have been a cousin or something. You believe that? No. All I know is if I were going out with some girl and somebody told you she was all over some other guy, I'd want you to tell me. 
Mercúrio. the symbol, a ring. What did this cost you? Three and a half bucks. Isn't modern science amazing? So I gotta tell you something. I think that maybe you're making a mistake here. What, you think maybe it's, uh, it's cheap looking or something? No, no, not the ring, not the ring. What, Dave? You think she's too good for me? No, Cyril, nobody's too good for you. Well, she likes me a lot, I know that. Yeah, well, I saw her, Cyril. With well, another guy, I think she likes a lot, too. And, uh, I wanted to be sure, so I didn't. I called Paulina, this girl I know at the college. Jeannie likes a lot of guys. What are you talking about? Hey, Dave, haven't you been listening to me? I mean, I told you what happened on the first date. Well, it happened on the second date, too. I know. I'm sure. It happens to a lot of people. It happens to a lot of people on a lot of dates, and they don't all love each other. Do me a favor, huh? Just stay the hell out of my life. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> you want something? Yeah, could you please remove your feet from the seat, sir? Oh, anything you say, sir. Hey, guys, come on. Thank you very much. How you like that, guys? I got a midget usher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm a reasonable guy. Forget about Friday. How about Saturday? Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I'm going out of town this weekend. Uh-huh. I've got to visit my aunt in Dearborn, and I probably won't be back till Sunday night. Well, hey, I got a good idea. How about if I borrow a car and drive you to Dearborn? Oh, no. That's okay. Oh, really? It's no trouble. Cyril, the bus will be fine. Well, can I come up? Hmm. Oh, that's the ring, isn't it? I, I shouldn't have done that. It was really dumb, huh? No, I have an exam to study for, that's all. Well, it only costs six bucks. Come on. All right, four. Good night. Guys down there have their feet on the seats. <laughs> hey, hey, quit throwing popcorn and get your feet off the seat, please. Hey, you want to keep your voice down, please? Yes. We can't hear the movie! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Look, I asked you nicely once. You wouldn't understand, see? We have long legs. <laughs> Get him down! All our legs are broken. <laughs> Some trouble here? Yeah. Steve, Bill, Jimbo, what's going on? Hey, we're having a hard time here with this little guy standing around here all the time making a lot of noise. Yeah! yeah. 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 Really? Well, let me see what I can do about that. George, you want to come with me? George. Bye, George. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. 
That was very bad, George. Very bad. I'm going to have to report you to the owner. You know those guys, don't you? Well, as it happens, I do, yeah. Yeah, why didn't you tell them to take their feet off the seats? Well, that's your job, George. Now, the idea is for you to learn how to handle people, and you handled them pretty badly. The only one getting handled badly is me. Oh. Are you unhappy with your employment here, George? I mean, I can't understand that at all. I, I think I've been more than fair with you, and well, I sure would hate for you to be unhappy. Oh, this counter's all messy. You want to take a crack at it, George? Yeah, hey, I'll take a crack at it. But the name's Mojo. Maybe I shouldn't have told him. He wouldn't even talk to me. I called him up and I asked him if he wanted to do something. He wouldn't even talk to me. Well, he talked to me. You know what he's going to do? What? He's going to stand outside her dorm and wait for her like some jerk. Oh, I shouldn't have told him. Take my word for it. He'll be grateful. It may take five years, but he'll be grateful. You should have seen the look on Nancy's face when I told her I'd lost my job. Big deal. I've lost lots of jobs. I shouldn't have told him. Oh, did I tell you how I lost my job? Energizer just another battery? Is the space shuttle just another commute? The Energizer from EverReady Technology. Of all leading brands, nothing outlasts, nothing outperforms the Energizer. EverReady scientists made sure. Your game, flashlight, recorder, they'll tell you. Energize me. The Energizer. Energize. For life. Long life. Wednesday. Bob, look! A mysterious treasure hits the angels between the treachery of the mob and the terror of the deep. Then a scorned wife turns pain into profit. Come on, lady, sell houses! And finds that success is the best revenge. Make me an offer. Hi, Mr. Stoller. It's, uh... Dave's not here. Oh. Well, how's Mrs. Stoller? She's not here either. She's out looking at laundromats. Oh. What's the matter, Sue? I don't know. It... Mrs. This girl. College girl? I knew it. All this higher education. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Forget it. We all go through it. You too? Of course. What do you think? You know, Mrs. Stoller was not the first woman in my life. No siree. Actually, one or two got away. Really? Sure. I remember there was this uh, girl in high school, Rosemary Chase. 
She really hurt you, huh? Me? She tried, but I wouldn't let it happen. I wanted to take her to the prom. But I could never work up enough courage to ask her. I'd see her coming down the hall, looking like a bat for baby powder. My mouth would get all dry. I'd look down to see if all the buttons on my shirt were buttoned. She made me crazy. So did you finally ask her out? Sure. Sure, with another guy. Oh. Uh -huh. I bet that really killed you. Nah. I remember uh, on prom night, I stood outside her house. I watched her get into the car with this guy. Everyone was taking pictures. She had on this white thing with no back. I thought about her back for months. She had a great back. I'm sorry. What for? It was her loss, right? Well, you see, whatever it is that's bothering you, forget it. In a month, you won't even remember. Mm. Right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Stuller. Take care, sir. Twisted kid. So, Rosemary Chase had a great back, huh? <laughs> Cyril told me. We had a long talk last night. Oh, you listen to Cyril. I made all that stuff up. Who's this guy with Mama? Three guesses. Hi! This is Bob Doherty. This is my husband, Ray Stoller. Ray? Hey? Yeah. And this is my son, Dave Stoller. Hi, hey, Bob. Doherty. It's nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. I think it's just terrific. Knock You're... it off. Guess what Bob needs? Startle me. Need a car. I'm just going to drop him off because I have to go home and study. And then uh, I'll see you tonight after class, OK? Talking to me? Who else would I be talking to? Uh, listen. You'll make him a nice deal. Okay? Oh, it'll be a pleasure. You know, uh, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye! <sighs> Down, Mama. So, you want to buy a car, huh? Hard to show real estate without one. Your son's been telling me about this little baby. It's easily the best car on the lot. Now you see, that's why I'm the father and he's the son. Well, I'm not going to waste my time or yours by showing you some flashy tin can that's going to spend more time in the mechanic's garage than yours. No, sir. I'm straight. This way. Yes, sir. Uh, now, this is the baby for you. I kind of like it. Da, 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 the best car on the lot. Runs like a Swiss watch. I always heard these were a lot of trouble. Uh, here, uh, just sign every place there's an X. You know, I've been spending a lot of time with Evelyn lately. Yeah, I heard that rumor. I envy you, Ray. I'd say 90% of the time we're together, she's talking about you. Yeah? Yeah, you know how you used to work double shifts in the quarries to buy a house before Dave here was born. How you sold your first car to buy her an engagement ring. How you used to be a great dancer. Papa, I didn't know you danced. Well, you know. She said you used to go every Saturday night. And it was all she could do to keep the other girls away from you. You know your mother. She exaggerates. Uh-huh. I mean it. I envy you. I envy both of you. Here you go. You really think the other car is the best one on the lot? You don't really want that old thing I showed you, huh? You want that zippy little 78. You got it.
Hi. Hi. You waiting for me? Yeah. I thought it was time we maybe had a little conversation. Oh. What's the subject? You. Oh, good. Not the uh, cereal box with the picture of the guy at the table with the cereal. How was your visit with your aunt? Fine. Listen, you know, I know where you were this weekend. You were in Louisville with some guy, right? Yeah. Look, Jeannie, who is this guy? I mean, what is he to you, huh? He's... someone I wanted to be with. I'm sorry I lied. Well, are there other people that you like to be with? Sometimes. What about me? Sometimes. Look, Jeannie, talk to me. Talk to me. I want you to talk to me. Look, I don't know who you have floating around in your head. I mean, she sounds like some wonderful girl, but it's just not me. I like you, Cyril. I like a lot of people. That's the way I am. Okay, okay, so you like a lot of people. Now, you know what I mean. I'm a big girl, and I, I do what I want, as long as no one gets hurt, which is why I lied, which I already apologized for, you know? You want me to lie some more? No. No, I get the picture. I'm sorry. I think you're a wonderful guy, Cyril. Yeah, well... I think you're a little tramp. so sure? I don't know. You kind of have this air about you. Me? Yeah. Kind of devil may careish, kind of roguish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, some guys have it and some guys don't. You have it. Me? Mm? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure of it. You're going to be breaking a lot of hearts in your lifetime, Cyril. Me? <laughs> hey, Dave, take a second ball. You're up. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Heartbreaker.
This is David Hartman. Tomorrow, President Reagan's daughter, Patty Davis, plus John Ritter, and later this week, Julie Andrews and Blake Edwards on Good Morning America. Tomorrow, the Fonz flips when he finds out about the night that Joni and Chachi got stranded in a honeymoon hotel on Happy Days. Then it's movie madness when the girls crash a Hollywood set and wind up in the arms of a prehistoric monster on Laverne and Shirley. Now stay tuned for All God's Children. Following an ABC.